Hey guys, Aaron Meissner here with IDI Distributors. Today we're at our headquarters in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and we have a brand new rig that's never had any fluid put through it before. So we're gonna do our preliminary checklist to make sure we're ready to rock and roll. All right, so I have Tom here. He's gonna help me go through our checklist. First, we're gonna check the oil in the generator, and then we're gonna make sure we have an adequate fuel supply as well. Um, once we check and ensure that, we're gonna come over to our compressor and check the sight glass, make sure we have enough oil in that as well. And then we're gonna look at our breakers, make sure everything's off before we give power to the unit. All right, so now we're in the front compartment of the trailer. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put our transfer pumps in our new drums. Uh, with new transfer pumps, always make sure that you take this cap off the bottom. You do not want that ending up in the, in the bottom of your barrel. So we're gonna open up, we're gonna open up our drum. We're gonna install the pump. Always make sure to get that collar threaded on there. Now that we have the transfer pump in the drum, we're gonna install our desiccant dryer assembly. Whenever you have a brand new cartridge, always make sure to remove the top and bottom caps and install to where the flow of air goes down towards the drum. Now, we're going to install the return tube into the drum. As we do this, it's always a good idea to put a little fusion grease on any threads on the A side. All right, so now that we have our A side pump in our drum, as well as a return line, we're gonna repeat that process on the B side. Then we're gonna get back to the back, start up the generator, start up the compressor, give power to everything, and it'll give us one step closer to putting fluid through our system. Okay, now we're ready to put power to our unit. We're gonna start our generator first. Let that come up to speed and idle. Let it smooth out. Next, we're gonna to go to our breakers. We're gonna flip our generator power switch. Uh, we're gonna start up our compressor. We're gonna wait for our uh, compressor to reach its set point. Once we've ensured that, we can make our way to the front. First, we're going to hook up our air lines to both of our transfer pumps. Then we're going to adjust our, our air to our feed pumps to where it needs to be. One thing to remember when introducing chemical to the system for the first time is to slowly introduce air to the equipment as the pumps can run away. Once we open the valves to the machine, that's gonna introduce chemical into the heated system and eventually into the spray hose. So we're gonna open both of these valves into this bag. Eventually we're gonna have chemical flowing through. First thing we're gonna do is introduce power with the switch on the side of the machine. That will illuminate the screen. We wait for it to go through its preliminary checks. Once it shows you a power button screensaver. You can push the corresponding power button. Use the directional keys to switch between screens. First, go set your targets. Take all three heaters to their desired temperature setting as well as the motor pressure. Once you have them set where you want, move over to your fluid screen and increase the drum level in each drum. Once you have those set, you can make your way back to the home screen and turn on your hose heater first. The hose heater takes the longest to warm up, so we're gonna give that a little while. For the sake of this video, we're gonna move through it. We're gonna turn our A and B heaters on as well. We're gonna watch those numbers come up, and then we're gonna prime up. Once we've ensured that both pressures are mostly equal, we can then go out to our gun and start to spray. All right, so now we have our hose warming up. We're gonna install our spray gun onto the gun manifold. 
One thing I like to do, one good habit I like to get into, is taking some of this fusion grease and putting it on the threaded insert. If you ever get A side material down inside those threads and you use this bolt to screw the gun onto the manifold, the ISO will super glue itself to that fluid head and you won't get it off without breaking it. So go ahead, Matt. Once it's nice and tight, you can grab your airline, install that onto the back of the gun. And one thing you always want to make sure to do before you open your fluid valves, you always have air coming out the end of your hose. Now we can open our fluid valves and begin to spray. One thing you have to always make sure of is that it's a good quality product coming out of your gun before you install it in the house. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna flip our fan on, it's gonna get a little loud. We're gonna spray a test bun, and we're gonna start installing product once we ensure it's good material. As you're opening both fluid valves, always make sure that there's no chemical spewing out the front. That would indicate a poor joint between your side seals and your mixing chamber. Spray a test bun, make sure it rises properly. Inspect the cell structure. Foam's good, we're gonna start installing it. All right guys, that's how you wet out a brand new spray foam rig. In the future, if you have any questions or concerns, give us a call or visit our website. I hope you learned something today. Aaron Meissner, IDI Distributors.